Tough loss today. Really proud of our guys. Um, fought like crazy. We, you know, we just had a stretch there. We just couldn't get a get a score. And even though we cut it, uh, I think the four there late, we just uh, didn't have enough offensive execution or just enough offensive uh, strength uh, down the stretch there. They made some tough shots. They really shot the ball well from three and thought that hurt us. Um, but credit to Rhode Island. They've had a fantastic year and they made plays and we didn't. And that's how it goes. Really proud of our guys. Questions for the student athletes, please, in the front. Um, guys, how would you kind of evaluate how you played defensively? You guys use a zone a little bit, and um, how would you kind of evaluate that, and then, you know how they adjusted to that? Um, we just wanted to uh, to mix it up and see if we can catch them off guard, and uh, but down the stretch they end up hitting big shots. Question: We had another hand up. Questions for the student athletes? Yes, sir. Justin, you had the you had the uh, VCU fans chanting your name as as you went out. How did that feel? Um, you know, just come, going back into the tunnel. Um, it, it felt pretty good. You know, the fans been uh, backing me and Johnny up since the the whole time we've been here since our freshman year. So uh, can always always be thankful for that. Through uh, good times or bad, they're they're always there for us. Other questions for the student athletes? One more right here in the front. Um, what was uh, maybe giving some you get some trouble you know offensively? I know you had some some looks, but maybe some shots weren't falling. What was, maybe, maybe what were they maybe doing to maybe uh, cause some trouble there offensively? Say it one more time. Uh, what was maybe you know giving you guys a little bit of trouble offensively during some of those uh, you know cold spells there? What was giving us troubles? Um, we just had to had to make shots and then be be aggressive, but uh, some shots wasn't falling for us. That's all. Questions at all? Justin or Isaac? If not, I'm going to release them back to the locker room. Those of you who need other interviews with the VCU players, please head that way. And now we will take questions for Coach Rhodes. Please raise your hand. In the front again. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach, uh, what, what kind of you know, motivated the decision to you know, uh, use a, a zone today? And, um, Try to catch them off guard. You know, um, it's not a very good zone. Because when they did execute some stuff, we got stuck in between. We're not a great rotation awareness, uh, but it did, you know, it did get them chucking a couple shots in the first half, gave us a chance to stay connected in the game and all that stuff, and, and switching it back and forth. Uh, I thought our man-to-man -man in the second half was pretty good, and then we threw that in a little bit. They hit a, a couple uh, bad bad rotations in the zone, gave up a couple threes and and a quick high low, but it uh, it caught them off guard a little bit. It got them standing around. The one thing they are very good at is uh, they're very good off the dribble one-on-one and big boy in you. And uh, Terrell does that very well. And and I thought maybe mixing it up just to get him flat-footed standing around, it keeps Downton away from the basket. You know, he was moving the ball against our zone 25, 28 feet away from the rim instead of him going downhill or being close to the three because he hurt us as well too. So just mixing it up. Um, you know, we're, we're not a great defensive team. Um, we got better as the year went on. We've had some great stretches here late of guarding people, but not for a full 40. Two days in a row, Johnny played a ton of minutes yesterday. Tried to keep him out there today. Let's let's give it a shot. I thought it was pretty good in the first half. It sort of hurt us in the second half. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Oh. The gentleman behind him, sorry. He had his hand up. Mike, after, uh, after Tillman gets his fourth foul, goes out, you actually took the lead and uh, Stayed, stayed competitive there. What does that tell you about some of your younger guys and, and look going forward? Yeah, you know, they're capable. Um, and look, the, 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 the biggest thing this year is we're not, we're not tough enough. We're not strong enough. We got a, we got a big off season ahead of us. Our workload has to increase. We got to get bigger and stronger and we got to get better. But these young guys are capable of doing some really good things. And you saw that, you saw that in that stretch against the best team in the league. Uh, but we have a ways to go. Uh, but I love that challenge. And our guys will love that challenge. Um, but, you know, it, it shows that what you're capable of, but you got to have, it's got to become who you are. It's got to become a consistent pattern of how you play and how you approach things. And, you know, it was very up and down this year. And uh, we played a lot of young guys, a lot of new faces. Uh, and they're going to get better because, number one, they're great kids and they really care about getting better. They want to be good. But there's no uh, – just because you have VCU on your jersey doesn't mean it's a win. you got to show up and you got to produce. And this offseason's 
uh, unbelievably important to our returning players of increasing their workload, getting stronger, getting tougher, getting better. And uh, that's a good thing. We got a question here and then in the back. Uh, would, you got, would you have any interest in one of the non-NIT tournaments if that opportunity came up? Yeah, I'll, I'll discuss that with Ed when we haven't talked about that at all. This, it was all about this weekend. It was all about this weekend. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll evaluate that you know, in the next few days. Yes, sir. Coach, when you came in in 2009 from Macon with Shaka, um, it was a pretty young team as well. You had a few talented um, older guys, but, but a limited number. I'm wondering what similarities you see between sort of this group and that group, and how are they um, different? Toughness. we got to get tougher. And I'm not saying that I'm not knocking our guys. It, part of it comes with maturity, um, just competitive toughness. We just got to continue every day to get in the weight room. If it's on the track, it's on the court, wherever it is, um, it's about getting tougher, competitively tougher all the time. If you do that, your skills get better, your body gets stronger, you learn the game, you mature. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. I, I thought that group in 2009 had a lot of upperclassmen and a lot of people around the program that can show them the way. There wasn't as much of that this year, but that was our job. And uh, these guys got thrown in the fire. A lot of guys in the last few years uh, didn't get thrown in the fire as much as these guys did, especially these new faces. But hey, that's, you know, that's how it goes. It's great opportunities for them to grow. Um, but I think the biggest thing is competitive fire, competitive toughness, without a doubt, Matt. I have a question here in the front row, and then we'll take your last one. Um, Coach, what was going on with uh, Marcus? I know he only played two minutes, had to wrap on his left wrist. So. He hurt his left wrist yesterday at the end of the game, um, and um, it was just really bothering him. And, you know, we, we thought we could keep it loose until today, and it was really bothering him. I mean, he couldn't even really, you know, flex it both ways. And it stinks, it's, but it's that time of the year when stuff like this happens. We, we could have definitely used him. Got to keep him healthy. Last question. Coach, I know you're a competitive guy, and this is not obviously the way you, or how early you wanted to go out, but I'm wondering um, what your realistic expectations were with this group coming into the season and how you, how you would grade sort of how, how things ended. Well, Matt, you know me. I, I think you can win every game you play. It doesn't matter who you play against, and that will never change. Um, I knew we were going to have ups and downs. I, 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 do, I, I knew that um, right from, from the start. You know, the one thing that I thought hurt us all year long was our basketball awareness, our basketball feel. Um, and at times you're like, as long, you know, you pull out your hair, why are they doing that? Why are they doing this? And, you know, there was times this year we just got to, we had to keep it simple to get better. And we couldn't be complex because that's the last thing you want to do with young players or a team is that you give them more, it makes it tougher, it makes them, and it takes away their aggressiveness. So, you know, that was one thing uh, with this group, but we had to keep it simple and try to really improve. We improved, but we were never as consistent as we wanted it to be. And that hurt us throughout the year, and that hurt us le late in, uh, in league play. Uh, that's something that we got we to gotta get better in every aspect of the program. Basketball awareness is very high on there when it comes to competitive toughness as well. Um, so, you know, I'm not ducking your question. Uh, I just, you know, everywhere I've ever coached, everywhere, everything, I think we can win every game. Um, you know, we're, I always tell the guys, you're not playing the best of seven series against the Warriors. You're playing one game for 40 minutes. Let's find a way. So, you know, I, I'm always disappointed when we don't win. And I'm mad, and, and my competitiveness comes out like I want our guys' competitiveness come out. But, you know, this is fact. This is where we're at right now, and I'm not shying away from it. We're 18 and 15 on the year. Wish we had some of those games back, but we don't. And it's got to fuel us, and it's got to light a fire on us underneath us to just get us better every single day. And if we improve in competitive toughness and we improve in our game and fundamentals, we won't be 18 and 15 next year. We'll be better and better. But you got to work for it, man. And, and that's what we're going to do. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. You need additional VCU interview.